it's easier than ever to make money online. And you clicked on this video because you either love me so much that you want to hear more about my story or you want to learn how to make money online. And in this video, I'm about to break down exactly how I hit my first $10,000 a month. And I'm also going to let you know how you can do it too. I myself am not only a high school dropout, but a six time convicted felon. I was incarcerated two times as a juvenile, and I've also been to adult prison four times. I was addicted to heroin for eight years of my life. And if I can pull myself back up from the depths of hell and go on to achieve financial freedom uh, through making money online, then you can too. Let me tell you firsthand, you can too. In 2020, I was released from prison for the fourth time. I knew that I was a little messed up in the head and struggled with drug addiction, so I went into a drug treatment. I went into a sober living one year program and about uh, six months into that program, I started my online brand. I started with a free laptop I got from my insurance and I started my brand inside sober living. So don't let your situation or the things you have or don't have dictate whether or not you start an online brand. My son told me he wanted to get into live streaming when he was older. So I was like, let me learn how to live stream. And I started live streaming on YouTube, making beats. I like music. And then one day I decided to do a music review. So I started doing free music reviews on YouTube. And a few weeks later, I put up an option uh, to where people could cash app $10 to skip the line. So just like that, I had an online business. There are a few things that you need to be successful to make money online, and we are going to go through all of them. And at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you guys two things I did that forexed my income and let me hit that $10,000 a month. So make sure you watch to the end. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is talk about prereqs. I'm sure you've heard of prereqs. Basically, you want to go to college, you want to be a doctor, or you want to be a veterinarian, but before you can start to take the classes about the subject you're interested in, you got to take something called prereqs. So these prereqs are something that everyone is going to need to have in order to be successful in online business. The first prereq is belief. I cannot stress how important belief is. If you do not truly believe in yourself and truly believe that it's possible to make money online, then you will never be able to do it. Let's put this into perspective. Let's say every morning I wake up, I go and I look in the mirror and I tell myself, man, there's no way I can make money online. All through the day, it's running through my head, man, this is never going to work. Basically, what I'm doing is conditioning myself to fail. So you have to get rid of that mindset altogether. Tell yourself you can achieve it. Convince yourself that it is possible. Because without belief and without faith, you will not be able to succeed online. When I was live streaming, probably for the first six months or so, I wasn't really making that much money. And somebody that was close to me called me and said, Robert, what are you doing? You need to get a real job. This live stream stuff, I know you're having fun, but it's not working. You need to just get a job and move on with your life. When they said that to me, it hurt. Yes, it did. And for one minute, I almost believed that lie, but I had faith in what I was doing and I continued on my journey. That next month, I went full time with my live stream and I made over $8,000 in one month. So that right there tells you other people are not going to believe in you. Other people are going to expect you to fail, but you have to believe in yourself. When I met you last night, baby. <laughs> okay, 
The second prereq is discipline. Every day, work on your craft and get a little bit better. And day after day, the improvements start to compound. Let me tell you something crazy, okay? It's called compound interest. Listen to this. This is going to blow your mind. It truly is, okay? So if you put $1 away, you have $1 in savings. And every day that dollar grows by 1%, right? At the end of one year, you will have $37.78, okay? So that's not a lot. It really isn't. That's chump change, okay? But after two years, you'll have $1,427. That's still not a lot. After three years, you'll have $53,536. So now you can see, like, oh, snap. After all of these days of getting a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better, it's like three years later, that $1 turned to $53,000. That's insane, right? Okay, so check this out. After four years, you will have over $2 million. And after five years, you will have, are you ready for this? $77 million. So that right there is the power of staying disciplined and getting a little bit better every single day. If that right there don't blow your mind, then, then you might as well just click off of this video and go run head first into a wall or something. Okay, so, so every day when we grow our business a little bit by a little bit by a little bit, we just continue to grow continue to spread the word, continue to excel. When I first started streaming, I made a commitment. I am going to stream every weeknight for a year straight, no matter what. There was plenty of weeknights I didn't want to stream, especially on Fridays. My kids are calling like, what are we doing tonight? I'm sorry, guys. I have to stream. There's a little show down the street. I'm trying to go and get my network on. Sorry, I got a stream. I might have worked all day and had to do a workout and ran six miles. And when it came time to stream, I was tired. But I still went on there and streamed because I made the commitment. So those are the two prerequisites that you need to have when it comes to being successful with the online business. Belief and discipline. Now let's get on to the good stuff. Okay, in order to make money, you have to have something to sell. If you do not have a service or a product to sell, how are you even going to make money? So what we have to do is figure out what we want to sell. You have a couple different routes. You can sell a service. You can create a, a, a digital product and sell it. Or you can be an affiliate and sell a product that someone else has created. They even have these new things called master resale rights and private label rights. That means you can buy a ebook that somebody wrote about exercise and then you can get online and make exercise style content and sell that ebook as your own and keep 100% of the profits. So there's so many different ways to make money online, but today we're going to be talking about what I did. And what I did was I started a music review. A music review is a service. I found something that I liked, music, and I figured out a way I could create a service or product around that, and that ended up being a music review. I want you to write down things you are interested in and things you are passionate about and see how your brain starts to work and see what type of service or product that you can create around that. Let me tell you a story about this guy named Chad. Chad loves playing guitar, right? And to be completely honest, he really isn't even that good, but he's consistent and 
He's better than someone that just started. So what Chad did is he started a YouTube channel and started doing free guitar lessons on live streams. He would turn on his camera, go live on YouTube and do guitar lessons. And he would invite as many people as he could to these live. Yes, he was doing the lessons for free, but people started to reach out to him for one-on-one -on -one private lessons. And then he developed a course that he started to sell for $300. And yes, now he is making 10,000 plus a month. This is realistic. This is achievable for me, for Chad, and most importantly, for you. The best time to start this was 10 years ago, but the next best time to start this is right now. So get to thinking, what can I do? What type of service or product can I offer? What type of topic do I want to speak about? If you don't want to offer a service and you don't want to build a product, just pick a topic of something that you're interested in, passionate about, and you could see yourself wanting to learn more about it and talk more about it for the next five years. Then you could purchase a product that has master resale rights and create content and then drive your traffic to purchase that product. So step one, pick a service or product to sell. Step two, give people a way to buy it. So sign up with Cash App, sign up with PayPal. Now people can give you money. It's really that simple. Have something that you can sell and have a way that people can pay you. Like and subscribe if you're finding value in this video. And next, have a platform where you can sell it. I did the majority of my business at the beginning just on YouTube. I would go on YouTube, I would do a live stream, I would tell people this is what you can buy. I really wouldn't even tell people, it was just on the screen, $10 skit with my cash app and people would pay me. So, so you can sell on Facebook Live, you can sell on YouTube uh, stream, you can sell on Instagram Live, or you can create a website. You can uh, use a link tree or a stand store. I'm sure you guys have seen a link tree and know what that is. So now that we know what we're selling and we have it posted up to where people can buy and pay us, we need to market our product. There was this guy, his name was Randy. He was the best cook in the city. His food was magnificent. So he decided he wanted to start a business where he would cook food and he would sell plates for $15, $20. So he bought a big grill so he could cook a lot at one time. He made this huge batch of ribs, cooked all of these great sides, and then he put a sign in his yard that said, plates for sale, $15. But the thing was, Randy lived at the end of a gravel road and no one ever drove by his house. So all of that food he cooked went bad and he had to throw it out. If you want your business to succeed, you have to tell people what you do. There are multiple ways to market your product. You can pay for advertising, you can create content, or you can do outreach. In this video, I'm telling you how I got to 10,000 a month, so we're gonna talk about outreach. Outreach is going to where your target audience hangs out and telling them about what you do. So every day I was getting on Facebook music groups and I was commenting on people's posts and telling them I would review their music for free. 50 people might not seem like a lot, but every day, consistently, 50 people, 50 people, it compounds. My outreach method was as simple as that. Go to where my target audience hangs out and tell them about what I do. And that right there is all the information you need to start making money online. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I was gonna tell you guys the two things I did that forexed my income and got me to that 10K a month. When I was younger, I was at some outdoor recreation area. You know, they had a lake, some creeks, tree swings, all of that great stuff. I'm walking and I hear this girl screaming for help. 
I run over to this young girl and see that she fell and her leg got stuck between two boulders. So this girl screaming, crying. I'm trying to move this boulder so I could free her leg, but it was too heavy. So I'm watching her scream and cry and there's nothing I can do. I start to wave my arms and yell for my family to come help. Three of my family members here and they run over to where we were at. Together, the four of us were able to push this boulder and free this girl's leg. You see, when you have a team of people helping you, you have more leverage. I had a good method of reaching out to people and getting them to come to my show. But with the limited time I had a day, I was only able to reach out to 50 or 60 people. So I hired three virtual assistants and I paid each of them to reach out to 200 people a day. So just like that, my outreach went from 50 to 60 people a day to 600 people. If you want to learn how you can find overseas virtual assistants for $5 an hour, make sure to join our young CEO community. The link is in the description. Now we'll talk about the last thing I did that forex my income and got me to 10,000 a month. Did you know that McDonald's doesn't make any profit on their hamburger? When somebody comes through the drive-thru and buys a hamburger, they actually lose money. Where they make their money is on their french fries and soft drinks. So when somebody orders a hamburger, french fry and soft drink, McDonald's makes a killing. So what can we learn from this? If we take the product that we're selling and turn it into a value meal with more features and benefits, we can make a lot more money with pretty much the same amount of effort. For the first six months I did music reviews, I had a $10 skip. But when I introduced the $25 super skip and added a couple benefits to it, like blog post on our website and IG story post, my income exploded. My income exploded overnight. You see, the more products and services that you have, the better your business will do. I just launched a brand new community called Young CEO, where like-minded people support and encourage each other on the journey to making money online. If you want to join, we are giving lifetime free access for a limited time, and the link is in the description. And if you found this video interesting and you want to learn more about my story, check out this next video right here, or maybe right here.